So if you guys clicked on this video and you're wondering like me, what does Plasti Dip do? How well does it cover? This video might be for you. Mmm, that's good. So I'm going to be putting my truck to the test and if you can't tell it's the windiest damn day of the week. It was a pain in the ass to mask this thing, that little clip that you saw took days. So guys the whole purpose of this video is because I want to test this out and see how well this Plasti Dip works on a truck like mine. It's a budget Silverado, I picked it up for dirt cheap and I've slowly been restoring it. If you're interested I'll put a playlist up in the corner. But I want to see just how well this cheap paint job is going to do painting this beat up old nasty truck I mean this thing has been beat to hell it's been abused it was a contractor's vehicle before I got a hold of it this thing is gonna go through its paces and we're gonna see just what happens hopefully it comes out well I'll show you the good the bad and the ugly and I'm gonna show you everything that's messed up with this truck before and after so here's my truck and as you can see we've got like 10 different shades of shit we've got a GMC bed here which was from somewhere I don't know and then we've got the Chevy cab with a Tahoe door so we've got whites we've got grays we've got greens we've got browns hell we've even got black in here we got everything we got all the colors now when I mask the whole thing off I'm not worried about masking my headlights and this stuff because I'm gonna be replacing all of this I did want to cover up the spot that exposes the radiator because I don't want to clog that thing up so that's what we're gonna do I've done an extensive amount of body work. You can see where a lot of it's been taken care of. A lot of this has all been smoothed out. It's all been buffed. So we're gonna be taking all of this and putting it to the test to see just how well it covers. This spot here, there was a massive dent and it was really messed up and now you can't even tell. It's nice and clean. So I did all that body work myself. You can see if you look really closely that there's slight imperfections here because I didn't use Bondo and I'm just trying to see if this will fill this in or not. You can see where there's like lines, there's little scratches here and there. It's not perfect. You can see that it's got its imperfections. There's little dips in here that you can see that are a little bit messed up. So the paint, you can see where there's lines and stuff like that. It's not perfect, but it's smooth to the touch. So hopefully whenever we go to do this, it'll end up a lot better. These came in really, really handy. These little things came in super handy when it came to clamping this thing down. These are for a camera, actually. I use this for a backdrop. Um, but they're on Amazon for like 10 bucks and you get like 20 of them. They make clamping this thing down so much easier. I didn't even buy them for this. They just happen to work out. 
so yeah guys let's go get this thing started we'll start laying down our first coats we're just gonna do 50 50 coverage we're gonna do a total of six coats if we have enough paint i got six gallons that's what they told me i needed so that's what we're gonna roll with so let's do it So far this is what the doors look like, very light. Okay, so I got the first coat down and totally screwed it up. So we're gonna have to wait for this thing to cool off and dry off, so tomorrow I'm gonna have to come back to it. And we're probably gonna end up peeling some panels or sanding or something because we got runs all over. I'm thinking it's just because of the wind, maybe because that gun, it just doesn't have enough pressure to really push out the air that we need. So the paint's just falling, it's splattering, it's just, it's just a nightmare so tomorrow we'll come back we'll take care of this um, and hopefully we won't get these long runs and drips that we got right now so we'll be back in 24 hours okay guys so it's the next day I'm out here it's still kind of windy so it's probably gonna be a problem but it's okay I'm gonna try to basically wet sand some of these spots where it ran and we're just gonna see if we can fix it that way I really don't know this thing's a lot more work than I originally anticipated but we're gonna get it done so let's get to it but this is by far the absolute worst one you can see it's just I screwed it up it's not the plastic dips fault I just didn't lay it properly it's okay we'll fix it Okay, so we're gonna try this again, but this time I recruited the help of my dad and my brother. And we're gonna try to hold up this barrier to kind of block the wind and see if it helps. Hopefully this time we can get a panel done without screwing it up. So let's see how this goes. Look, it's leaking, dude. Oh, I got a bug in it. Well guys, I just suck at spraying paint, I guess. I don't know what the hell it is. All right, well, since I suck at doing this, we're going to have my dad give it a shot and see if he can show us how it's done. Okay guys, welcome to the future. So I know it's been a few days, it's gonna seem like seconds to you guys. The footage that I had of my review of this paint job like all went corrupt. So I'm having to redo it. But it's kind of a good thing because now I've been driving this thing for about a week and a half and I can kind of tell you what I think of Plasti Dip and I'll tell you this much, I don't like it. Now, it's not to say it's a bad product, it's not to say it's a bad thing, but for me, 
doesn't work. It's real easy to rub off and it's not setting right. It was lifting. And to be fair, we did this outside. It was hot, it was windy. It was just terrible conditions to do it. So if you have a nice clean garage where you can do this and you're not worried about wind or heat or anything like that, it might go okay. But I did an excessive amount of prep work and this still screwed up. But I'm gonna give you a good rundown of just how crappy this shit is. And it's, it's not good, it's not good. So let me show you. So if you're looking right here, you can see just how much it's lifting. It even tore right in this area all on its own. Um, and it's because there's this nice little lip. And what I found was the majority of the spots are where the problems are is because it lifted. As you can see like even right here, it just didn't, it didn't quite adhere like what you would want. And you can see there's all these little like specks and balls and stuff. It's just not smooth. And part of that, I think, is from applying this outside. Um, from the heat, the wind, everything else. So as far as color coverage goes, if you remember, this was like four or five different colors. And now it's all blended really well. So it does cover. And that's after about six coats of Plasti Dip. And then there's this. This right here happened going down the highway. And it just ripped completely off. My theory is a rock kicked up here, probably knocked something loose, and it just, boom, gone. I mean, that's, that's pretty bad. So you can see here where it's just not quite going in there like it should. You can see over here where it's completely lifting off of the body. It's just not even like, it's not even barely attached. I will say this whole section here covered up real nicely where there was that big dent. It looks really good now. One big solid color, but then if you come up here, you can see at the bed rails there are certain points where it lifts. And it lifts over here just lifting it's not like sealing properly and then of course directly below it we have this nice big old tears just not not setting right there's a few spots over here where it did the same thing when it rains it fills up with these bubbles of water right here it's just doing that all on its own starts lifting i mean yeah another spot here where it lifted and then of course directly below we got another one of those little pockets yeah, and then of course the hood, this whole area over here seemed to do really well, minus all of this. So on the hood here, it's probably hard to see, but there's little rubber like balls almost, like specks of stuff, right? And it's everywhere. Everything covered really well on the front. Um, it looks pretty good. So I mean, from like 20 feet away, on this side it looks decent, right? It's not bad. Full coverage, it's all one color, so that's good. But this stuff is crap. So guys, if you have it and it's a work truck and you're using it for work and you want to be able to use it, don't do Plasti Dip. I swear to God, like if I, I've gotten out of the side of my truck a few times and it practically rubbed the whole chunk of it off. Um, for whatever reason, it's just not setting right. So my personal thing, I'm not going to use Plasti Dip. I mean, it's a cheap thing, but honestly, I can do a much better job with rattle cans. And I'm going to show you that in a future video. So. We're gonna end up respraying this entire thing and I have a very special paint job I'm gonna do for it. I've done it on a couple of other vehicles that were like hunting rigs and stuff like that. Mud and trucks and stuff, so that's gonna be a good surprise. So look forward to that. My honest opinion, don't get Plasti Dip. Just don't. I'm sure it's a great product, but if you're like me and you have to do this outside, if there's any wind or if it's really hot, it's just gonna come out like crap. And the gun that they give you, that gun is garbage, total garbage. That thing just, is any little bit of wind, and it just blows it all over the place. It starts splattering and spitting and just not doing what it's supposed to. So, me personally, I'm not a fan. I'm not impressed. And I won't be buying it again. So, we're going to do a cheap $75 paint job using rattle cans. And that's going to be in a future video. So, look forward to that. And we'll see you all in the next one. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button. And we'll see you later. I'm so happy.